Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with a video about Lebanon and more specifically about the souvenirs which I have from my trips to the country. I went around my place and I was um, collecting the stuff for this video and I was really blown away by the amount of stuff which I have collected over the years. <laughs> I don't really want you to think that I'm a hoarder. Obviously, I have bought some of this stuff myself, but a lot of it has been uh, presented to me as a gift. And, uh, well, shall I start with the Lebanese flag? Uh, well, I thought it would be appropriate to have it in this video because the Lebanese flag is a symbol of unity. The Lebanese uh, tend to disagree about most things, especially when it comes to politics and religion, but they agree on one thing, and that is the beauty of their flag. If you ask the Lebanese they would, about their flag, they would most probably tell you that they have the most beautiful flag in the entire world. And I think it's true to a great extent. What I like about the Lebanese flag, what I really, really like about the flag, is the green cedar tree right in the center. The cedar tree is actually also um, one of Lebanon's uh, symbols. Uh, it grows only in Lebanon and in parts of Syria and Jordan. But if you're visiting Lebanon, you should go in uh, the mountains and you can uh, go to the Shouf area where you can uh, see a large uh, forest of cedar trees. Uh, the cedar tree is really majestic and a kind of a mystical tree. It's really extremely beautiful. Um, it can grow up to 40 meters and I think uh, high and uh, I think up to two and a half meters in diameter. That is the, that would be the trunk of the cedar tree. So let's start with what I have here. Well, I have three cedar tree cones. I have had these for quite a while and they're quite dry right now, but they're still closed. Actually inside of the cedar, uh, cedar cones, you should be able to find the seeds which are edible and have a, a very high uh, nutritional value. So this is, these are the cedar cones which I have. I also have a couple of things which are made of cedar wood like these drink coasters with a cedar tree and they say uh, uh, Lebanon well, somewhat similar to the drink coasters is this wooden box with this oriental motif. Also with a cedar tree and it also says Lebanon, of course. Then I have this small decoration piece. It's a snow covered Lebanese cedar. It's handmade in Lebanon. It came in this box. It actually says, <laughs> it even says, carefully handmade in Lebanon. And on the back of the box, we'll, you will see all the different alphabets including the Phoenician alphabet. Uh, as you probably know, uh, the, uh, the coast of the Levant was inhabited by the Phoenicians about 3000 years ago. 
and its the Phoenician alphabet is supposed to be one of the oldest alphabets in the world. <clears throat> I also have this large wooden plate, which is also made of cedar wood with a cedar tree and the map of Lebanon. And it's engraved in the middle and it says, God bless our home. This one is quite big and I still haven't found a place for it. I have also three Phoenician figures, sorry. That... <clears throat> One of them is broken unfortunately. Uh, anyway, I bought these in the National Museum of Lebanon and they were not so expensive. I think they were about a couple of dollars. So probably I'm going to buy a new one on the next trip to the country. Then I also have, <coughs> sorry, these key holders. really beautiful with this golden hardware. I really like this one with the cedar tree, like this. And the other one is with the country of Lebanon. All right. Let me move these away. And finally, I have this. This is probably the cheapest thing I have. It's in the form of a t-shirt of the Lebanese national football team. It's a kind of a wallet for money or for cards, which you can hang around your neck. All right, guys, so that's all from me for the moment. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Until then, it's bye-bye and have a great day from me.